attention all Amazon affiliates. There's been a recent announcement from the Amazon Associates program that all image codes generated with Sidestripe will stop working at the end of this year. As you might know, the Sidestripe is a toolbar that appears on top of Amazon's pages when you go to grab Amazon affiliate links or image codes. This announcement does not affect the Amazon links generated with the Sidestripe and you can continue to use those and all of the ones that you have embedded or copied before will continue to work. But this update is crucial if you have used any of their image or image and text codes anywhere on your site as these need to be removed by December 31st. I wanted to do a quick video about it for those of you who have missed Amazon's email announcement or for those of you wondering what do we do now. I'll cover what the change entails, a quick solution to replace all your existing image codes so you don't have broken links and a way to use Amazon's API codes and procedures. But first of all, hi there. If you're new to my channel, my name is Anna and I'm the blogging coach and strategist behind the She Approach. I help blogger, content creators, and online educators make more money with affiliate income and other means and create more traffic and eyes on their content. So let's dive into this. Why is Amazon making this change? Although the reasons are unclear, action needs to be taken as soon as possible. The image feature in Sidestripe function has already stopped working and for all image and image plus text code that you've already embedded, they will continue to work but they will stop working on December 31st. Instead, you'll need to use the product advertising API that is available to approved accounts. So accounts who have made their first three affiliate sales and have received the email confirmation from Amazon to say welcome into their program. If you have not made those three initial sales, there's no way to grab or generate the API key that you need to continue embedding links either manually or with a third party software that I'll explain further on this video. So the only solution is to only use text links until you get those three first sales. If you are struggling to make those first three initial sales and have your Amazon affiliate account approved, then hop on my waiting list for my new ebook that's coming out very soon on how to make your first Amazon sales and beyond. Now back to that API key that I mentioned. You can request a new API key for your account by using the link I'll embed in the description or logging into your Amazon affiliate account, going to tools, product advertising API and request a new key. But be warned, this is only the first step to embedding actual images and the whole API process is complicated and requires both coding and other technical skills to be able to use it successfully. However, there is a quick fix that you can use on your WordPress website. If you own a WordPress blog or website, the easiest way to fix this issue moving forward is to use a plugin or third party software. This automatically uses the Amazon API key that you only need to attach to your account once. And then it allows you to embed the product images by simply using the text link that is still available on your site stripe. I personally use Lasso for my blogs and have been doing for years. So thankfully there's not much that I need to go back and change. Lasso is a fantastic affiliate management plugin and it works not only with Amazon affiliates, but also other affiliate programs that you might be into. So you're not only paying just to solve this problem, but it can actually help you generate more affiliate income, whether you continue to be an Amazon affiliate or not. When you link a product, Lasso pulls all the information that is available on Amazon about the product, including the title, price, that is updated every 24 hours, which is an Amazon requirement, by the way, the prime badge, the product images, and so on. And once again, you only need to link the API key that you generated using the last step in your lasso settings just the one time. After that, you're set and you can continue to just embed the products via the links. Not to mention that Lasso also detects opportunities for you to embed affiliate links in your existing content if you haven't used them before. And it alerts you when products are out of stock or unavailable. If you have a WordPress blog that you've been using for a while and you have hundreds of pre-existing images embedded already from Amazon, Lasso will also allow you to use their auto import tool, which means when you sign up to Lasso, you can turn all your old Amazon images into Lasso display boxes that will continue to work and will solve all your broken links issue. Another plugin that does the same thing, but specifically for Amazon affiliates is the links affiliate plugin. This helpful tool helps you configure Amazon links to similar display boxes for Amazon affiliates 
specifically. You can feature things like text links, buttons, images, comparison tables, and so on. You can see a few examples on their website of how that looks like. The only difference between that and Lasso is that Amalinx is obviously for Amazon links only, but it's also more affordable for that reason, while Lasso can serve multiple affiliates, can also be used to send traffic to your own products, to freebies and so on. So Lasso is a lot more versatile and you can do a lot more with it. It's a lot more smarter, intuitive, and in my opinion, it just looks better. As Amazon is phasing out the ability to embed images via their site Stripe HTML codes, this means a new approach must be implemented. I showed you how to fix that with one single piece of software, but if you want to give it a go and try to solve it yourself just using the API key, again, this is only available if you're an approved affiliate and have made those first three initial sales, give it a go and try following this tutorial. Let me walk you through how to update your old Amazon Stripe generated image codes to now Amazon compliant images, either with one click for your whole website or the longer manual way. And I'm going to share with you a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to get them fixed. So thankfully in a lot of my blog posts, I was already using the lasso boxes, but there are a couple of instances where I was using the actual Amazon images that I will need to change over. Now, the really quick way to do it is just to use the lasso import tool. If you head over to your lasso plugin, if you have a subscription, this tool should be available to you now. It's under import and you'll see that it'll import a bunch of other links created with other plugins. So all you need is just to go to site stripe. It will select the site stripe links and then you can click bulk import. This will automatically change these images that are Amazon generated to lasso images and it will replace that code. But what I discovered is that instead of replacing with the lasso boxes, the images will look just the same, which is even better for formatting. Let me show you what I mean before I bulk import everything. If I go back to my blog post, you'll see that I added the HTML blocks using the Amazon generated size stripe. If I then copy the product code of this product, for example, and then I click import, this will transfer it to a lasso compliant post. Then you'll see again, this is all an Amazon kind of piece of code. I'm just going to refresh this page and you'll see that the code looks very similar, but they've added this lasso kind of code in there. So instead of it being an Amazon box, it's now a lasso box. If I then refresh the blog post, the image is going to look just the same. It still links to Amazon. It still has my tracking ID in there, but it's just now replaced that old Amazon code that will stop working on December 31st. It's literally that easy and you don't have to go through it one at a time. Simply select the site stripe and click bulk import. Import all wait for it to update. For mine, I really didn't have that many links. So did it literally at the snap of a finger, but for websites that have like thousands of images, it might take up to a couple of hours for all of them to update. Just bulk import, give it time and it will work. Once again, do not waste this opportunity. Sign up to Lasso today. It is the only one of these plugins that has this one click import tool. You can sign up with my link for a free trial at the sheapproach.com slash lasso. Now for the long way around it, I'm going to walk you through manually going in and changing every single link. So obviously the first thing that you have to do is identify the links manually. Now Lasso did that for me automatically. If you're doing it manually, you have to go and find your actual Amazon codes that you embedded. Once you find them, you want to save the product ID. So this will be the ASIN code. It usually starts with a BO. If you can't find it in the code, just click on the link that'll take you to Amazon. Then do a control F and type in ASIN. And you'll see the product information here. It's the exact same code that I copied before. What you want to do next is go to your Amazon Associates program under tools and product API once again. Make sure that you have saved this access key and secret key when you've created it. If not, you'll need to create it again and make sure to save it this time because you can use the same key in multiple places. Then go down to the resource center under Scratchpad. Once you get here, ignore everything else and just go to get items and then fill out manually your partner tag, access key and secret key. For the partner tag, it will be on Amazon just here in the store. Once you've done that, go to the get items box, 
paste in the product ID and for the resources, you will want to select the image. I usually select image primary large and other information that you want to display about this. The title, for example, again, you can play around with this and see what you like the look of. And when you're ready, click run request. This will then create a little box just like this that you then have to re-embed on your website using the HTML response. And once again, it creates this HTML code for you that needs to replace your old site stripe one. And you just want to copy it, go back to the blog where the old code was and paste it in there. For the sake of seeing the difference, I've done this twice and I'm just going to add it again and paste in the new code. And if you hit preview, you'll kind of see what it looks like. I'm going to quickly update this and then you'll see when I refresh the page what the old Amazon code used to look like and what the new images are looking like. They just create these like very small, weird looking boxes, which is better than not having any image in all fairness. And of course, if you're doing this, replace the codes instead of creating new boxes. But yeah, feel free to play with the resources and the information that you want this to grab from Amazon. I have tried a couple of different things and it really didn't make my box look too different. And then for my other blog, when I tried to do that, I did get an error code instead of any sort of box. So you might encounter error codes at this point. It is not a foolproof tool. I don't know why Amazon insists to make this so complicated, but I have heard that if you give it a day or two and you come back and you recheck all the information, it should ideally work. And you do need this to show the rendered response on here. Otherwise it's not going to show up on your blog either. So if you do not get this, you're not able to copy the HTML response because it's just simply not going to work. But this is a way to embed Amazon images from now on or to replace existing ones. If you're doing this process manually. And there you have it. Those are the two potential ways to still embed Amazon images on your website or blog. Hopefully Amazon will release new information going forward on how to fix this issue, especially for non WordPress users and will allow us to replace the old HTML codes with something easier. But so far, this seems to be the only solution that's possible. I'll add a couple more useful links from Amazon directly about how to use the app key and their technology to do that. If not, check out Lasso via the link below and start using these beautiful display boxes without the headache of having to know how to code. And if you're getting a little sick and tired of Amazon's rules changing left and right every single day, there are other affiliate programs out there that you can sign up for, promote, and still earn affiliate commissions. You can download my free list below of 99 plus affiliate programs that you can sign up for free that are currently accepting new affiliates.